credit. Well, Bayern Munich comes in hungry to keep their hopes of a title defense alive. Jeff Nielsen has the highlights. Bochum are undefeated at home and Ruhr Stadion surrendering only three draws. Would Bayern Munich become just another statistic? And it appears that way in the eighth minute as Peter Madsen, the Dane, puts the home side up an early goal with a sensational deke on Ollie Kahn. Madsen makes a last second move on the aggressive challenge from Kahn, slides it into the open net, and that is terrific patience from Madsen as he waits till Kahn is committed and Bochum is up 1 0. What a huge lift for the home squad, and Bochum's impressive home form would continue. Besides the first goal, the first half wasn't nearly as busy as the second, and shortly after the break, Munich comes within a hair of tying it off the foot of Zay Roberto. And Bayern Munich would continue to produce quality chances as Bastian Schweinsteiger's volley forces a fine diving save from Bochum keeper Ryan van Deinhoven. Surely Munich would eventually break through, and Claudio Pizarro does just that. Splits three defenders, but Van Deinhoven makes an incredible leg save to maintain the shutout. Pizarro can't help relieve his coach's discomfort. Bochum were content to fall back and take their chances when they came, but Paul Ferrer wastes a great chance to put his team up for good, and Bochum might regret that effort. Dying seconds of the match, everybody, including Kahn, in for the free kick, and Munich scores. Late heroics ruin a great defensive effort by Bochum, but wait. The offside flag might mean something. Take a second look at the horrible call made by the linesman as Munich is distinctly onside when contact is made. That goal should have counted. Bayern Munich are robbed of the draw. However, Bochum take a much needed three points from an unlucky Bayern Munich. We begin with Cologne taking on Schalke, minute 25. Nico Van Kerkhoven from Sven Vermont. Fast forward, second half, minute 81. Vermont to Delore, 2-0 for Schalke. We were holding steady and still hanging around for a spot in Europe. Frankfurt battling his relegation against Rostock, who know all too well what that's like. Chris, minute 39 from Skella, making it 1-0. Frankfurt, but Rostock, right up, Richa. In the Swedish colors, gives Rostock the goal. One all, the final score. Hanover, Leverkusen, Clint Mathis. Have you seen this before? Weaving, finishing. What a great goal in minute 40. His second goal for his new club. 4-4 four, four in the house, you bet. Costas goes at the Nini's minute 48 from Mathis. 2-0, Hanover were cruising. But Leverkusen would come back. Lucio Barbatov. Well worked goal. Good textbook stuff by Lucio heading it back across the face of the goal. 2 1 in minute 65. Then Franza, second half sub. Look at this finish. Oh, that's how you punish a mistake. 2 all, the final score. As it stands, the reason 1860, a better team when losing at halftime than Dortmund when they're winning at halftime as Dortmund have the lead here 1-0 after 45 minutes of action. And let's just show you the goal. What better place to start? Everton bowled over from behind by Sransa, Florian Meyer. A bit of ambiguity in the call from Meyer, but he gives Sransa the red. His day is done. And that sets up Everton from the spot. Sransa the foul the last defender leads to Everton's seventh goal first in the spot this season well taken possibly going one way Everton the other Dortmund for their third road victory of the season in 10 tries halfway there leading 1-0 10 shots in the match went right down the middle three saves for Hoffman two for Vamos 1865 corners Looked dangerous, but unable to make any of those count. Dortmund and Jeff Nielsen has those highlights. Olympus Daddy and Faithful on hand to see 1860 Munich take on visiting Dortmund. But the visitors will strike fear into the home crowd as Jan Koller picks up the loose ball, but can't bend it past keeper Michael Hoffman. And Hoffman easily gathers in the second Dortmund volley. Dortmund then use a great through ball to send Enrique Everton in on Hoffman. But 1860 defender Martin Stroundsel hauls Everton down. A great lob pass from Torsten Fring sends a Brazilian in all alone. 
But the referee does Dortmund one better and hands Stronzel the red card. So Everton will take the deserved penalty for Dortmund and he'll nail it into the left corner. Justice is served for Dortmund as they take a 1-0 lead. Hoffman makes the first initial move and leaves Everton with a lot of twine to shoot at. And you know he's not going to miss from there. Dortmund held the one-goal lead into the break. And in the 59th minute, Everton is left unattended. And that can't be a wise decision for 1860. Everton tallies his second of the night and gives Dort a well-earned three points as they...